Hello and uh, welcome everyone uh, to another video in the US uh, VFR communication series and in this video I'm going to cover class uh, Charlie uh, departure <coughs> and today we are at Santa Barbara which is a class uh, Charlie uh, airport and we're going to be departing from Santa Barbara without flight following. I will cover flight following from the ground uh, or from the air in a different video. So today uh, our destination is actually Santa Maria so we're going to be departing VFR Northwest as you can see here um, and uh, today uh, unfortunately the real live weather in Santa Barbara is IFR as you can see but we are now on the Pilot Edge ATC online network and you can use your own custom weather if you like uh, the only difference is you'd have to um, a report that you have information Zulu. So instead of the actual ATIS information, uh, whether it's whatever, Bravo, Charlie, Foxtrot, Delta, it doesn't matter. We're going to say we have information Zulu, which means uh, we tell the controllers indirectly uh, or implicitly that we have custom weather and we can depart VFR out of an IFR airport uh, so that we can actually record this video for uh, uh, instructional purposes. Okay, but we're going to follow all the steps as if uh, we are really departing uh, at Class Charlie Airport, step by step. So with that, we're going to start off. Uh, first step is to grab the ATIS for that airfield, okay? So uh, we're going to go ahead now and set up uh, to get the ATIS for Santa Barbara. Uh, and uh, the ATIS frequency is uh, 132.65. Uh, We're going to put that on COM2. 132. 0.65. Here we go, and that is active on COM2 right now, and we're going to get ready now and grab the uh, ATIS. Make COM2 active. One, two, altimeter three zero one four, arriving runway seven, departing runway seven one five left, one five right, ILS runway seven approach in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery, advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested, read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact that you have information might. Santa Barbara Municipal Airport, ATIS information mic. 2053 Zulu, wind 240 at 14, gust 19 er Visibility 1-0, ceiling 800 overcast, temperature 1-7, dew point 1-2, altimeter 3014, arriving runway 7, departing runway 7, 1 Okay, and uh, with that we grabbed the editors already, and you can see we have information mic, uh, ceiling is 800, uh, overcast. And uh, that's obviously IFR, but uh, again, we're going to tell them, instead of having information, Mike, we're going to report that we have information Zulu, since we have clear skies, uh, custom weather here for the purpose, for the purposes of this uh, video. Um, okay, so with that, uh, after getting the ATIS in a class Charlie departure, uh, you heard in the ATIS, they told us to contact the VFR departures, to contact clearance delivery, uh, specify the heading, the altitude, and whether flight following is requested okay so when we contact uh, clearance delivery not not ground but clearance delivery we're going to tell them that we are going to be VFR departure to the northwest uh, 6500 and negative flight following okay with information Zulu let's do that right now and we'll go back uh, get the, the uh, clearance delivery uh, frequency which is 132.9er we will put that on uh, uh, COM2 just to make it quiet right now I'll put COM1 active with 132 uh, one uh, three two point nine. Okay, so we're gonna put that one three two point nine. And that is the active frequency on COM two. I'm gonna make COM two active in just a second, but we're gonna be ready to take uh, to write down our uh, information. So we have information Zulu, and we have uh, negative flight following. So we can write down what we're gonna do. We're gonna be going northwest six thousand five hundred. Uh, information Zulu and negative flight following and we can write the instructions as they give us uh, the departure instructions uh, as we see okay 132.9er is clearance delivery and let's go 
Santa Barbara Delivery, uh, Twin Diamond Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, uh, VFR departure Northwest, 6500, negative flight following with Zulu. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, Santa Barbara, clearance, I'm sorry, say again, please, I was on the lane line. Uh, this is a Twin Diamond, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, it will be VFR departure to the Northwest, 6500, negative flight following with Zulu. Delta Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, which twin diamond are you, a DA-62 or 42? Uh, DA-62, sir. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, roger, on departure, fly heading 200, uh, actually stand by, Santa Barbara right now is uh, IFR, are you, flying, or excuse me, are you information Zulu? Affirm, yes, so we have information Zulu. Alright, thanks, Hotel Alpha Alpha. Delta Alpha Juliet, on departure fly uh, heading 200, maintain VFR at a below 1,500, departures 120.55, squawk 3350. On departure fly heading 200, maintain VFR at or below 1,500, uh, departure frequency 120.55, squawk 3350, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. H-A-D-A-J, repeat, correct. Alright, good, so we got our uh, departure instructions, so let's go ahead and now set up our avionics. You told us to uh, 1,500. Uh, VFR uh, at over the 1500, we set that up, and since we have information Zulu, uh, the altimeter for information Zulu is the standard altimeter 299 or 2, and he said departure frequency is 120.55, I'm going to set that on standby COM1, let's do that, 120.55, I'm going to tell you how I'm going to set up the other frequencies too, that's the way I like it, but you can do them any way you wish, it's no problem, 120.55, and squawk 3350, so that's important too because you're going to have to have a discrete squawk code while operating in the Charlie uh, airspace. Okay, code is 3350, 3350, and altitude reporting mode 3350, right there. Okay, so let's go ahead now and set our uh, uh, frequencies. So we're done with clearance delivery already, so what we need right now is to tune in ground because that's what we're going to uh, talk to when we want a taxi that's 121.7 that's Santa Barbara ground so I'm going to put this on COM2 active in just a second so that's uh, 121.7 uh, and here we go and uh, on COM1 we're going to put tower which is 119.7 and we're going to put the uh, departure frequency was 120.55 uh, on uh, standby. Uh, and with that, we're pretty much set. Uh, we, can, uh, we can now contact ground that we are ready to taxi. All right, so uh, 121.7 is ground. That's COM2. And we're going to tell them, just like what we showed in the previous video for the class Delta departure, it's like station you're calling, which is Santa Barbara ground, who you are where you are, uh, we are at uh, Signature Northeast and ready to taxi with information in Zulu. Santa Barbara Ground, uh, good afternoon, uh, Twin Diamond Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet at Signature Northeast, ready to taxi with Zulu. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, wind correction, Santa Barbara Ground, runway 25, taxi via Juliet. Runway 25 uh, via Juliet, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. Okay, here we go. So that's it. That's our taxi path. And with that, we'll zero, see you at the holding point. All right, folks, and uh, just like we said in the previous video for the class Delta departure, if you're going to taxi to a runway without them specifying an intersection, you need to taxi to the beginning of that runway. Okay, now at the holding point, uh, you are allowed to switch frequency on your own to tower. You don't have to ask for permission to switch. So we're going to switch now to COM1. Santa Barbara Tower, Diamond Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, holding short 25. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, Santa Barbara Tower, fly runway heading, maintain via fire to below 3000, runway 25, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, uh, via fire at or below 3000, uh, runway 25, clear for takeoff, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. Right, so they changed the instructions because they give us a different runway. It's no problem. So we're going to fly Approaching runway heading runway and we change the altitude to 3000. Entered runway 25, 1768 meters remaining. So, ch so change the altitude to 3000. I'm going to change now, set the heading box, enter the heading box to runway 25. Okay, so we center the heading box right now. Runway heading, and let's go. Alright, 
Get airspeed alive, engine is much all green. Like a center line. 78 rotate. Seven and a half. Other rate gear up. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Julia Reader, contact, contact to Santa Barbara departure. Over to Santa Barbara departure, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Julia, good day. I right, to switch now to departure, which is the standby frequency on COM1. And what we do when we contact the departure, tell them our current altitude, the target altitude. That's all you need to check in with the altitude. Santa Barbara departure, uh, twin time hotel after Alpha Juliet. Good afternoon, uh, 1,200, climbing 3,000. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, uh, Santa Barbara departure, cancel heading and altitude restriction. Cancel heading and altitude restrictions, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. Okay, that's it. So we climb to 6,500 now and we proceed to our northwest heading. Here we go. And we climb to our target altitude. Right, so now uh, we have not been told to squawk VFR, so pay attention to this. So we are still... Uh, I'm going to change now to... Uh, Flight level change. And uh, with that, we have to remain, uh, we cannot change frequency on our own because we still have a discrete squawk code. You gotta pay attention to this. That is your clue. You cannot change frequency on your own if you have a discrete squawk code. Once, we, if we leave the Charlie airspace, the class Charlie airspace, and we still uh, haven't been told to squawk VFR, then in that case, uh, we're gonna uh, notch the controller. I'm going to call him right now, and then we'll nod him to cancel radar services, since we are out of the Charlie airspace. Santa Barbara departure, Diamond Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, uh, request cancel radar services. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, radar service terminated, Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, good day. Yeah, that's it. Now, we change now uh, to transponder code, and we'll put VFR. And that's it. Switch now to guard, or whatever frequency you see fit. And that's pretty much it uh, for class uh, Charlie departure. So to recap real quick, uh, you contact clearance delivery. Uh, first you grab the ATIS, then you contact clearance delivery on the ground with your heading, like with direction of your VFR departure, your altitude, and whether you require flight following or not. It was explicitly even stated in the ATIS, that's what you need to do. You will be given uh, departure instructions from clearance delivery and a discrete squawk code. You need to put the squawk code in uh, on your transponder and uh, set up your avionics. When you're ready to taxi, at that point you're going to contact ground. Uh, then, if you're instructed to taxi to a runway without uh, ground specifying the intersection, you taxi to the very beginning of that runway. If they specify an intersection for you, uh, then you need to go to that intersection. Um, uh, you Then, after you get to the holding point, you are allowed to switch to tower on your own. You contact tower, tell them you're ready for departure. And then, at that point, you're going to get your clearance for takeoff, and then you pretty much uh, follow the departure instructions that you're given by clearance delivery. Uh, once you are instructed by tower, you cannot switch frequency on your own from tower to departure. They will tell you when to switch. You switch the frequency at that point. Contact departure. Uh, they're going to pretty much give you instructions. We, here, I was told to cancel uh, heading and altitude restrictions. So I proceeded on course and I climbed to my target altitude of 6,500. And then after leaving the Charlie airspace, since I said negative flight following, if the controller doesn't drop you, then you can nod him like I did and tell him that you'd like to request to cancel radar services. And you're going to be told to squawk VFR at this point and ch frequency change approved. See, you cannot change frequency on your own if you have a discrete squawk code, unless, of course, you're switching fre frequency from ground to tower at the holding point. And that's pretty much it for Class Charlie departure. Uh, in another video, we're going to cover uh, Class Charlie arrival. And thank you for watching.